In an age of information, it can be difficult to distinguish fact from myth. Women's health in particular suffers from rampant misinformation due to a lack of education in schools and the stigma surrounding discussing women's bodies. Our team created a women's health bot that educates on different aspects of women's health issues by asking the user to take a 10 question quiz, therefore clarifying any misconceptions and prompting the user to evaluate their own assumptions about women's health. The user group that we are designing for are people who have misconceptions about women's health issues, who engage in sexist internet spaces, and who don't usually look into women's health issues. They might not be expecting to learn anything. However, the goal of this application is to help those groups understand how much knowledge they lack in women's health and whether or not they are ignorant in certain topics. We chose to use a web link to make the bot accessible for groups who use various social media platforms. So here's the flow chart of our chatbot. Um, our chatbot contains three flows, one for the grade team, main menu, and bot info, one for the quiz, and one for the health resources. So the user will be asked which sections they would like to go. And in each section, um, they will have the choice to uh, continue the section or return to the main menu, or if they want to quit, they can type quit to quit anytime. For example, if they choose uh, view health resources here, uh, the user will be asked uh, what categories they want and um, the bot will provide resources according to the category uh, they choose. And uh, the bot will ask if the user want to make another query. If yes, uh, it will give the resource link. And if no, uh, the bots will ask if they want to uh, make another choice to other sections. And if the user choose no, the conversation will end. Um, so in this section, I will be introducing the quiz part. Uh, the quiz questions in the quiz are either multiple choices or true or false questions. When the user enters each question, the top right will become the question number. So here is question two. Um, right after the user type their answer, the bot will display the answer and tell the user whether they are right or wrong. In addition to that, we provide an explanation for each question and references we use to increase capabilities. So here is the explanation. Here, here is the references. Um, we also uh, tell the user how many questions they in total they got correct. So here I will just go over the bot really quickly. Uh, in total, we have 10 questions. Uh, we have 10 questions because after user testing, we found that 10 questions is the right amount that users will not quit during the quiz and they will still learn something uh, from the quiz. So um, here after I finish, um, which after I finish question 10, uh, I will get my total score here. And my total score is in a score range uh, where each range has will display different uh, message here. So it seems like if I have a six out of 10, we think that, that this person knows something about women's health. And in addition to that, uh, we have a total score. We also have a subsection score. So each question belongs to a subcategory. So if a user answers less than 50% uh, of questions in that section wrong, um, the bot will ask, will prompt this message and ask if they want to see more resources in that section. So if I click yes, the resources will display. Um, if I click no, uh, it will link directly to here. What would you like to do next? So the second option that you can click on uh, in the main menu is health resources. Uh, and when you do that, it gives you three uh, potential like categories you can choose from. Um, the first category is uh, menstruation and the vagina. Uh, the second, and then you can click other resources to go back to the menu. And then you can view information about uh, contraceptives and STIs. Uh, and the third category is health, health risks. Um, within the category, it shows uh, links to websites uh, that contain the resources, the name of the website, uh, what type of resource it is, um, the uh, title of the article, and then a description of what you can learn there. Um, after you view your resources, you can go to bot info, which just shows a little blurb about uh, why and how the bot was created.